Humble Administrator Garden in Mandarin, Zhuo Zhengyuan, situated in China, Jiangsu Province, Suzhou City, Northeast Streets, cover an area of 5.6 hectares, is the largest and most renowned classical Chinese landscape garden in Suzhou. Along with the Summer Palace in Beijing, the Chengde Mountain Resort in Chengdu, and the Lingering Garden in Suzhou. It is honored as one of the four famous gardens in China, and it was listed as World Heritage Site in 1997 by UNESCO. Humble Administrator Garden was built in 1509 during the Ming Dynasty by the former imperial censor Wang Xianchen. Overlooking the Humble Administrator Garden is divided into four parts, East, Middle, West, and Residential. The East Garden is featuring in wild and idyllic scenery. The layout mainly comprises pine forest lawns and bamboo forests. Central Garden is the essence of Humble Administrator Garden. The garden features water scenery, and one third of the whole area is covered with water. Most pavilions were built near the pond, and some pavilions were built in the middle of the pond. The Western Garden is also dominated by water and is known for a delicate, decorated architecture. Most of the pond in the West Garden is to observe lotus in summer. Its water surface is circuitous and the layout is compact. The residential area is located in the garden's southern part, reflecting the pattern of many traditional dwellings in southern China. There are two sets of courtyards between the garden landscape and the residential area, which create a transition between the houses and the garden. When we zoom out of Administrator Garden, we can see that it is surrounded by many other famous Chinese gardens as well. For example, Cabo's Retreat Garden is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Along this road, we can also see another famous Chinese garden, Lime Grove Garden. Then we zoom out again, it is also surrounded by lakes, national parks, and all natural landscapes. Today, the humble administrator garden welcomes visitors from all over the world and tell the story of Chinese people's ideal of pursuing a poetic life. <laughs>